Smart Detect System. Smart Detect System is a perfect choice for prospectors searching for gold nuggets. Small relics, jewelry, coins, and other metal types. Developed with enhanced technology, it features two search coils, PS36 and PS28, to offer best performance in all terrain and soil types, and the ability to differentiate between different types of metals. Device installation. One, assemble the search coil corresponding to the device's mode you want to work with. PS36, PS28 search coil and the lower shaft using the specified screw and nut. Two, insert the middle shaft into the upper shaft. Note, make sure that the antennas unit are locked so that they are stable during use. Three, mounting the main unit on the holder. Place the device main unit on the device holder on the shaft. Fit the main unit and the holder rail in parallel position. Place the main unit on the holder rail. There is an option that users can use. This option helps position the device on the holder rail so that users can see the display clearly until you hear the lock pin sound. To suit the width of the main unit on the holder. One, loosen the screw on the holder counterclockwise. Two, Fit the main unit to the preferred degree and close the screw again. 4. Connect PS36, PS28 search coils cable to the base of the connector, the plug for probes. 5. Connect the battery to the arm holder, armrest, with the battery clip in the specified position. 6. Connect the battery to the device. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. In this system, note that the installation method is similar to that of the pulse induction system. For additional information about the installation, please refer to the installation section of the pulse induction system. System Selection To start using the Smart Detect system, select Smart Detect System from the main menu and press OK. When performing a search using the Smart Detection System, there are two sub-modes corresponding to each search coil. The user can select the appropriate search mode while noting that different search modes require connecting the appropriate search coil. 1. Mode 1, PS36. Using the PS36 search coil, a search coil with a 36 centimeter diameter. To detect targets, the device display screen shows detection settings and options that can be set as follows. Calibration. Calibration can be performed by pressing the start button. For the most accurate results, the user should perform a calibration of the coils before starting the search. Detection mode. Choosing the detection mode is done by activating one of the three buttons corresponding to detection mode. They are 1. All metals. It is a general detection mode. By activating it, the device can receive signals from ferrous and non-ferrous metal targets. When a precious or non-ferrous metal is detected, the yellow, red gradient lines will be raised to the right of the indicator. When it detects an object of ferrous metal, the blue lines will be raised to the left of the indicator. Targets are distinguished by two different tones. Each of them expresses the type of the target, whether it's precious metal or not. The height of the lines represents the strength of the signal received from the object. 2. Non-ferrous. By activating this detection mode, the device will filter the signals to receive only signals from non-ferrous metal objects, such as gold, silver, and copper, meaning that the device ignores the signals of ferrous metal objects. 3. 
Ferris. This detection mode is opposite to the previous mode, where the device receives signals from ferrous metal targets only, such as iron, and ignores the signals of other non-ferrous metals. Sound. The user has the option to turn off or on the audible signals that come from the device's internal speaker. It's useful for when the user wants to determine the type of object using the digital display indicator without hearing the sound. Target ID Indicator The Target ID Indicator is a circular digital graphical indicator that displays results in the center of the circle with a number called the Digital Target Identifier, Target ID, that corresponds to a specific type of metal, such as gold. On each side of the circle are two symmetrical semicircular indicators made up of bars they are shown in graduating colors from bottom to top, according to the strength of the object signal and the selected detection mode. In the all-metal detection mode, if the target is non-ferrous or precious metal, such as gold, the left semicircular indicator is activated and is shown in graduated colors from yellow to red. A ferrous target will activate only the right indicator and the color gradient is from green to blue. In non-ferrous detection mode, the two indicators are activated in graduated colors from yellow to red, and the number of colored bars will depend on the signal strength. If there are non-precious or ferrous targets in this option, a number will appear for the value of the precious metal, but without the rise of the indicator lines or hearing sounds. In the ferrous mode, the two indicators are activated in graduated colors, from green to blue, according to the signal strength. In the event that there are precious targets in this option, a number will appear for the value of the non-precious metal, but without the rise of the indicator lines or hearing sounds. Threshold. This option can control the audio threshold of the received signals can be set according to the user's preference, either to hear the faintest of faint signals coming from very small targets, or to ignore it, to focus on hearing the signals of larger targets. That is, the more we raise the value, the unwanted signals coming from small targets are eliminated. The user can set the value between 1 and 10. The values are changed using the up-down arrow keys. Two. Mode 2, PS28. Use the PS28, a coil with a 28 centimeter diameter, to detect small targets. The device displays a screen that includes two vertical indicators on the sides and a graphical indicator in the middle. The explanation of these indicators is as follows. Sensitivity. The left vertical indicator determines the sensitivity level and the user can set it to one of nine levels. The higher the sensitivity value, the greater the sensitivity of the search coil to detect small targets at greater depth. Their value can be dialed down gradually to eliminate unwanted sounds. Threshold. It is a vertical indicator on the right side that determines the value of the audio threshold, and the user can set it to values from one to nine. The higher the value, the more likely the device is to signal the detection of smaller objects. Selecting lower values will result in signals from larger objects. Signal Indicator It is a graphical indicator in the middle of the screen, displaying a target ID number and FE, non-FE indicators. FE for ferrous objects, non-FE for non-ferrous, precious objects. In addition to the graphical signal indicator is a set of circles with increasing diameters from top to bottom that light up based on the signal strength of the target that the search coil passes over. Ground calibration is done in this mode by pressing the start button. How do you use? After the setup is complete, ensure the device is correctly and fully assembled. 
The user should begin by standing in the area to be scanned, holding the device in the following way. Start walking and moving the device slowly from side to side with the search coil parallel to the ground. Potential targets are represented by audio tones and shown on the device's display screen. Changes are displayed on the device screen if there is any potential target. The device indicates the presence of a potential target by issuing an audio tone. 